Hello, sweet team. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele and I am back with another delicious recipe for you. All. We're making bean stew, one of my favorites. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. I'm going to start by deboning my mackerel beautifully. I'll also prep some tomatoes, onions, and bakoshito. I'll use half of this onion. I'll blend everything together pour it into my pot and allow it cook until there is no water left in it now I blended these tomatoes without any water but as you can see it is so watery so we need to cook it out here I have some water going and I'll be cooking my beans which I soaked for about 45 minutes to get rid of the gas give it a quick stir no salt cover and allow it cook about 75% of the way meanwhile I'll blend together some onion ginger garlic cloves and anise seed add your meat to the pot to that add your blended ingredients all-purpose seasoning salt to taste give it a good stir and allow it cook in its own juices until it is nice and tender meat is nice and ready so we're going to go ahead and set it aside and because I soaked my meat in water to get rid of some of the blood we have a lot of juices even though we didn't add any water we'll check on our tomatoes and it has cooked down beautifully remember this have tomatoes onions and bakoshito okay we'll set this aside and get started in a pot i'll add some palm oil you may use vegetable oil if you wish and as much or as little as you wish to that i'll add some sliced up onions and i'm going to fry it until it is nice and translucent i'll then add in some blended bakoshito and onions i'll give it a quick stir and i'll allow this to cook for about five to ten minutes ten minutes later I'll go ahead and add in some shrimp powder you may use chicken mushroom beef whichever one you prefer okay this is for flavor but if you are allergic please use other flavoring methods all right i'll give it a quick stir and allow it to continue cooking for about five more minutes at this point i'll add in our cooked down tomato sauce give it a stir and allow it to cook for about 10 minutes on medium heat and because the tomatoes are already cooked our stew will be ready in no time Our stew have been cooking for about eight minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my meat, give it a stir and allow it to continue simmering. It is now time for us to add in our mackerel. Our stew is almost done. It cooked for about 10 minutes on medium low heat. Once I've added my mackerel, I'll give it a stir and I'll allow it to simmer for an additional eight minutes on very low heat while I go and check on my beans. All right, y'all, our beans is looking so good. So at this point, I'll check the tenderness to see if it is where I want it to be, which is about 75% cooked. So it is almost ready. And as you can see, it has passed that. It's about 90% cooked, but I don't want to pour this into my stew like that. So I'm going to strain some of the juices out and then I'll add this to my stew do not get rid of the juices because you may freeze it and use it in cooking watching or you can add it to your stew if you feel it is too thick i'll also go ahead and set part of the stew aside just in case it is too much we don't want that we'll then add in our beans little by little depending on how many people would be enjoying it i'll add stir together add stir together until 
until everything is well incorporated to my satisfaction. Now, if you add all the beans and your stew is not enough, the flavor will be good, but not as good as you want it. And if you add too little, it will be stewy than beansy. <laughs> If that is even a word, I'll give everything a stare and I realize it's too chunky for me. So I'm going to go ahead and add in the water that I strained out, okay? Because we are taking this somewhere and we want everybody to be able to enjoy. Also taste for salt and seasoning and adjust it to your taste. We'll then allow this to simmer slowly for about 10 to 12 minutes. And we are back to check on our stew. It has just about five minutes to be done. So I'll add in some fresh onions to wake the flavors up i'll also add in some zomi a little bit okay to bring back the zomi flavor whatever we started with have taken in so many flavors it may not taste the same again give it a gentle stare because remember you have the fish in there and you don't want it to tear apart and allow it simmer for about five minutes and there you have it it is ready but we are not done yet so we will set our stew aside prep some plantains i have my oil already going so i'll cut and season the plantain and we'll fry it until it is nice and golden brown Continental food, madam. Food, madam. International food captain. Who showed you how to make pizza? Jala, mango and okra soup. Sushi and pastries. All this and more. Sweet ajay. Once the first batch is ready, we're going to get it out of the oil. Repeat the frying process until everything is nicely fried. And then it'll be time for us to serve and enjoy all are invited okay this was super delicious and we paired it with some rice yes y'all y'all already know how delicious this is gonna be because bean stew with rice and not forgetting the fried plantain oh so delicious and as you can see this is not my regular setting because this recipe was made while I was in Ghana and we took it to GBC. Everybody enjoyed it and whatever was left, my family and I enjoyed it as well. Oh my goodness, this was so delicious. If I didn't cook it myself, I will say, take me to the person that made this because I want them to teach me. But it was so, so good and I knew I had to share with you all. If you've never paired your bean stew with rice, please do and you would absolutely love it thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and are inspired to try the recipe until i see you in the next one stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys bye y'all Bye, y'all.